This is where it starts. Big rocks, smaller, a little bit smaller, real small, tiny, and I don't know uh, what mesh that is. Hunter mesh, I guess. Then once you concentrate it in the blue bow to this. Okay, that dry material we showed you, the cons earlier, we just threw it back in the pan. And that picker we got hit in the uh, uh, stuffer bottle. There is actually enough gold, I believe, free gold in these cons. And this represents about 14 pounds. Let's say 13. I think it was about a pound of, uh, uh, of high grades that I added to this. We dried this out so we can get a weight on it. 31.48 grams. I know you can't see that. This is what we got. Or three. Whatever. We're going one part cons, one part Chapman's Flux, tenth part potassium nitrate in hopes of oxidizing this material better. Fifth part thinner. I don't know if the potassium like the sodium makes it thicker. Not sure if that's why. And 3.4, 3.5 grams of lead as collector metal. I'm going to get this all mixed up. We did not roast these, so I expect a MAC phase. All right, we're going to get this out of here. I think it should be. Oh, well, it just fell out. That's good. Now, there's going to be no lead button, I presume, because this was one bad pour. Okay, we're still going to hopefully see a little lead button. Lead, I don't see anything at all. But we're going to have to grind this up uh, and resmelt. Okay, this is way outside of my comfort zone, but what we're going to do is put half, 30 grams total, half Chapman's, half Borax, that is it. We're going to be dangerously close to overflowing, and uh, here's our semi-crushed material. Should do just fine. I don't know if I have to have it baby powder. I think that's good enough. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, that should be cool. It is. There it is. And uh, let's see if we can see anything. There, you go. there it is. That is awesome. And let's examine the flux. And yeah, it looks like we have a matte layer. All right. We're expecting uh, four and a half grams of lead, and there's nine grams there. Obviously, we did not turn those sulfides into oxides, but this is definitely matte. So this is all going in the coupel. Okay, we're putting all this in there. Okay, just see what happens. What can we lose? <laughs> Absolutely nothing.
So yeah, now it's cooling down. So yeah, that's actually not bad. You can actually pick it out. Now this represents what 13 pounds. I think that's what we settled on. Turn it off. 13 pounds of ore. Alright, here we go. The first sort, or classification, we have about uh, 250 grams done, almost already processed, but all this has to get crushed down to uh, uh, about 150 mesh, I think is what I'm going for, if I ain't mistaken, and uh, that's it. We're going with one kilogram. Instead of one pound, we're going to go Roman Catholic and go one kilogram. Catholics do use the metric system. Well, we took a thousand grams and we got it down to 12.4 grams. After this is all over with, once we cupel it, if there's a discernible uh, little button or bead of gold in there, it will be. A, I'll be completely amazed. Zero free gold. Maybe a little, little tiny, 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 tiny bit. But just virtually no free gold out of one kilogram. And we got it reduced down to, or concentrated, to 12.4 grams. Now we're going to roast this stuff. Turn the sulfides into oxides. Mix up a 50-50 Chapman's mix. Chapman's flux and borax. And just let it roll. All right. Well, something broke off the tip. And I can already tell I'm not gonna like what, I, what I'm seeing. Yep, man, just like I thought. Yeah, we screwed up big time there, but there's gonna be no go beads in this thing. I guarantee you that. We got 66.85 grams out of three kilograms of material. That's the, considering the last experiment was 100 uh, 1000 grams and we got 12.4 grams okay so by doing the math we've doubled our uh, uh our concentration production or concentrate production that's awesome 66.85 grams out of three kilograms okay there is our 66 grams of concentrate they've been dried out twice i was going to do a nitric experiment but voted against it just don't want to deal with it so we're going to process this material and go ahead and get a smelt. Let's get a good pour. Hopefully get a good lead button. And then get a good cupel. And let's see how much gold we can get out of three kilograms of Jason's ore. Hopefully it's not too soon. Lead button is still in there. Uh, well, still way too hot. Ah, I do see some worrisome signs here. Seven grams, I think, of lead we put in this. Thirteen grams. Yeah, we got a mat phase here. Half of it's matte, just like uh, the last time. And the nail is gone. So that means the sulfur had ate that nail completely. 
We didn't roast those sulfides enough. We roasted them for about 45 minutes. We're going to have to roast these for about two hours. You can see the lead button way over to the right. I'll separate it so you can actually see it. That's the lead button. It's uh, 4.64 grams. The rest of that trash in there is matte. Uh, we're going to re I'm going to recrush this material here, obviously. And uh, uh, not the lead. Let's leave the lead alone. And I'm going to re roast the, that matte layer, that matte. And uh, go ahead and mix up more Chapman's. Do it again. All right, finally, finally got uh, two little lead buttons. Well, of course, the lead button before we held back. And here's the math. We're supposed to have 9.26. Whoa, the camera's wigging out. 9.26 grams of lead is what we should have, very precisely. Let's see what we got. 9.26. Two seven, that's awesome. So that was a hundred well, hundred percent recovery of the lead.